You probably all agree with me that this is a very nice road. It's made of asphalt, and asphalt is a very nice material to drive on, but not always. So do we ever wonder what makes for a lovely road to drive on? Or what keeps the rain from leaking into our house from the roof? It's that sticky, black and highly vicious semi-solid that is made from petroleum. It is called bitumen. Bitumen is an unsung hero of our modern world. Black gold, what an incredible market it is. Oh, hello there, I'm Samson Seas, and in this episode of Bazaar, we will be exploring one of Iran's highly profitable resources, bitumen. We will investigate how these profits are reflected in Iran's economy, both nationally and internationally. Plus, we will have a peek into how it is produced, as well as who the major players are in Iran's bitumen production and extraction industry. <laughs> Bitumen may be found in natural deposits, or it can be a refined product. Although bitumen is hard to extract from the ground, it can bubble naturally to the surface of the earth in petroleum seeps. These seeps are places where fossil fuels and petroleum products leak out of the earth instead of being trapped deep below the ground. In these seeps, bitumen asphalt and tar bubble up into pools. In fact, it is interesting to note that Iran has a naturally occurring bitumen spring located in Ilan province of central Iran. It is a sight truly worth seeing. To begin, one must start at the beginning. First, we would like to know where this product is extracted and refined. So, we have visited Pasargad Oil Company, located on the outskirts of Tehran. It is one of the forerunners and major producers in the country. Somehow, all bitumen roads lead back to this company in Iran. Pasargad's Tehran bitumen plant is located in the south of Tehran's Shahid Tonguyan Oil Refining Company. It consists of three production units which have been designed and constructed by Floor Company. The bitumen plant of Tehran Refinery has three oxidization units, one bitumen emulsion unit, packing unit for bitublast and barreling, and a utility unit as well. It has a production capacity of 2,422 metric tons daily and an annual production of 775,000 metric tons. Originally, the National Iranian Oil Refining and Distribution Company, NIORDC, ran bitumen production plants at Tehran, Shah Sand, Abadan, Tabriz, Shiraz, and Bandar Abbas. Pasargad Oil Company now administers the six bitumen production plants registered in 2003. Pasargad Oil Company is currently a public joint stock company. At the start of this session, the six plants produced 1,553,967 tonnes. That's 1.5 million tonnes of bitumen a year, but now the annual production has reached 3.4 million tonnes. Based on the technical and economic advantages, this company owns a lion's share of the domestic market. With two export terminals and storage capacity of more than 160,000 tons of bitumen, this company dominates nearly half of Iran's export market. شرکت نفت پاسارگاد به عنوان برند برتر و بزرگترین تولید کننده محصولات بیتومین و غیر کشور و برند برتر در آسیا هست. ما شش تا پلند تولید و در پالایشگاه های کشور داریم در شش نقطه کشور ما از خصوصیت های بارز شرکت نفت پاسارگاد و از ویژگی های بسیار ممتازش این هست که در داخل پلند های اصلی پالایشگاه و با لایسنس های خود پالایشگاه های ایجاد شدن و در چارچوب استاندارد های بسیار سخت گیرانه خود پالایشگاه های کشور فعالیت میکنن و تولید میکنن و تمام فعالیتشون عملیاتشون در قالب استانداردها و فرایندهای خود پالایشگاه های معتبر کشور تعریف شده است و این ویژگی بسیار منحصر به فردی است که باعث شده تمایز بسیار محسوس و معنیداری 
تولیدات شرکت نفت پاسارگاد با سایر شرکت های تولید کننده در منطقه و آسیا داشته باشه. As the largest producer in the Middle East, the products of Pasargad Oil Company are exported to more than 30 countries across the world. These capacities render this company as operating in true self-sufficiency. It is a self-sustaining company that has been able to bolster related down-the-line industries. By doing so, it has secured its footing in the domestic market. By increasing production for domestic use, Pasargad Oil Company has been able to support its export goals. Bitumen is ranked at 341 as the most traded and exported product in the world. The international cash flow of the world market resulting from the trade of bitumen in 2018 has been approximately $8.1 billion. In 2016, Iran was ranked third among the top bitumen producing countries in the world, with China ranking number one, followed by the United States. In 2016, Iran held 4.3% of the world's share of total production of bitumen at 4,837 metric tons. Since the year 1990 to 2016, Iran's bitumen production has steadily increased 284%. Thanks to hard-working companies such as Pasargad Oil Company, Iran is now rising in ranks among the top 10 bitumen producing countries in the world. Pasargad Oil Company has a long list of professionals on its roster. This company employs highly educated individuals. They range from engineers, chemists and physicists, among other professions, in order to support such a large facility and production capacity. Additionally, this company employs individuals from the local areas. This has enhanced the local job market. Their R&D unit has also paid special attention to human resources. It has regularly held training courses for its staff in order to boost their knowledge. Some of the goals in which they have teamed up for are diversifying bitumen production and climatic zoning of the country for producing appropriate bitumen. The biggest domestic customer of this company is the Ministry of Roads and Urban Development. Just about 85% of the bitumen produced at this company is used for roads and infrastructure projects. Some large-scale projects include insulation for river dams, bridges, tunnels and airport runways. Another 10% of the bitumen is used for construction purposes. For example, it is used by the roofing industry as its waterproofing qualities help make roofs function well. The remaining 5% of bitumen is used for sealing and insulating purposes in various building materials. Pasargad Oil Company has a long list of bitumen products that it produces. Oxidized bitumen is typically used for industrial purposes such as roof insulation, pipe coating and paints. Penetration grade bitumen is used in construction of roads and road surfacing. Of this product, a performance grading system was produced for various climatic stresses. Performance grading is used in order to determine the new specifications of the product. This system helps customers and clients. Plus, it facilitates the purchase of bitumen products. Further down the product line is BG bitumen, cutback bitumen, bitumen emulsions, polymer modified bitumen, etc. Mahsulate موردنیاز در صنعت آسفالت و موردنیاز غیر دنیا رو در مجموعه های ما و پلنت های ما قابل تولید هست تولیدات ما به لحاظ این که دارای واحد های برجسته و نمونه آزمایشگاهی و نیروهای متخصص و خود فرایند هامون تحت لایسنس هستن تمام غیرهای عمل کردی رو تحت برند های مختلف و شاخص های مختلف رو ما قابلیت تولید داریم و تولیدمون رو بر اساس نیاز بازار و خواست بازار و مناطق مورد مصرف و از نظر حتی تقسیم بندی کردیم بر اساس درجه میزان آب و هوای مناطق مورد مصرف میزان بار ترافیکی مناطقی که مورد استفاده قرار میگیره و شاخص های مختلفی که تعیین کننده 
مصرف محصولات غیر در مناطق مختلف هستن بر اساس اون پارامتر و شاخص ها ما محصولاتمون تولید میشه و پس از تایید آزمایشگاهی و دریافت مجوز های لازم به مقاصد مورد نظر ارسال میشه This company produces over 3.4 million tons of bitumen. So, Pasargad Oil Company also requires large-scale storage facilities. It uses state-of-the-art technology for storing its products. There are many steps in refining crude oil. For each step, a new oil product is born. So, for each bit, storage is necessary. The product then waits for packaging and finally transportation. The product is then shipped off down the line. Because of the wide variety in its product list, Pasargad Oil Company uses packaging according to the product. This company has the barreling capacity of 2,000 steel barrels daily and an annual output of 624,000 barrels. Also, it uses sophisticated bitumen bags for other packaging. These bags are specially designed and engineered to not influence the final product. Pasargad Oil Company has two export terminals, one in Bandar Abbas and another in Emam Khomeini port. These terminals are equipped with vessels that can each load up to 450 metric tons per hour. According to the Iranian Oil, Gas and Petrochemical Products Exporters Union, it is estimated that Iran's national market of bitumen has an annual national consumption capacity of approximately 3.5 million tons. Also, it is estimated that Iran has an export capacity of approximately 4 million tons. The annual world consumption of bitumen is about 140 million tons. This makes Iran the fourth largest producer of bitumen and the third largest exporter of bitumen in the world. The total volume of bitumen imports in the world has been 24 million tons. China, the United States, India, France and Indonesia have the biggest imports of this product. The major exporters of 2019 are South Korea with 15% exports, Singapore with 12% and Iran with 11% of shares in bitumen exports is among the major players of this trade in the world. According to Iranian Oil, Gas and Petrochemical Products Exporters Union, Iran exports bitumen to countries Kenya, Tanzania, India, China, Malaysia, Singapore and neighboring countries like Turkey, Afghanistan, Iraq and Oman. So when you look at Pasargad Oil Company, you might wonder, where does it place Iran in the global and domestic market? And who are the global players and largest importers of this trade? Let's take a little detour and take a look at India and China as developing countries. چون نیاز بازارهای آسیایی فراتر از ظرفیت‌های موجود هست، بازار ایران خیلی تا خودش رقابت نداشته تا وارد بازار اروپا بشود. اما اخیراً نش خود شرکت نفت و پاسارگاد در یه برنامه تدفین کرده برنامه زی کرده هدف گذاری کرده برای ورود به بازارهای اروپایی که فکر میکنم انشالله تیه چند ماه آینده هم اولین محموله هامون به مواسط کشورهای اروپایی وارد بشه آنچه که مهم هست ما استانداردهای سخت ایرانه کشورهای اروپایی رو برای تأمین غیرشون رو داریم و میتوانیم اینها رو کامل تأمین بکنیم کشور ایران و ایران ما از باب تولید غیر واقعا در حرفهای زیادی در دنیا داره برای گفتن و مزیت های فوق العاده ای داره و جز رتبای برتر از نظر کیفیت به لحاظ کیفیت فوق العاده بالا که ویوی ایران و کم ایران داره که با هیچ کدوم از کشورهای مخصوص منطقه خلیج فارس قابل مقایسه نیست بنابر با آمار و اطلاعاتی که وجود داره در منطقه آسیا کیفیت مطلوب تر و بهتر از غیر ایران وجود نداره و این برند شناخته شده هست و عمدتا در بازارهای آسیایی که دور میزنید و صحبت میکنید و بررسی بازار رو انجام میدهید او من غیر منطقه خلیج فارس رو و منطقه کشور ایران رو با نام شرکت غیر شرکت نفت پاسارگاد میشناسند و خوشبختانه هم کاران من هم از در طول سالهای گذشته با تلاش و حالت های رو به روز و قابل تقلیل و ارزشمندی که داشتن تونستن این برند رو و این مزیت رو در دنیا و در منطقه آسیا علا رغم موانع و مشکلات موجود ناشی از تحریم ها حفظ بکنن و هنوز هم که هنوز هست در مناطق و بازارهای هدف در کشور در منطقه آسیا 
غیر ایران با برند نفت پاسارگاد شناخته میشه و غیر ایران جزء مرغوب ترین و بهترین تولیدات این مجموعه هست. پاسارگاد اویل کمپنی هاز بین ا پایونیر این دیس اندستری. Its bitumen is 100% recyclable and is not chemically toxic like other petrochemical products, which makes this product environmentally safe. The one way this product is dangerous is because of the temperature at which it is stored at. One of the main goals of Pasargad Oil Company is health, safety and treating the environment with respect. These are incorporated into the attention it gives to sustainable development. شرکت نفت پاسارگاد مخصوصا دارای تز تمام استانداردهای اجباری این صنعت بهره میبره دارای استانداردهای قوی هست در تمام بخش های فرایندی خودش استانداردهای داخلی ایران هم همه رو دریافت کرده و کسب کرده خوشبختانه صنعت ما و شرکت نفت پاسارگاد در بخش مسائل زیست محیطی همیشه پیشرو بوده، پیش قدم بوده و خوشبختانه در انتخاب های استانی و کشوری هم همیشه جز منتخبین ویژه بوده در بخش حامیان پیر محیط زیست در بخش مسائل آزمایشگاهی و کنترل کیفی و مسائل این چینی دارای استاندارد های جهانی و بین المللی هست و ممیزی های خیلی خوبی انجام میشه و حفظ میکنیم سطحمون رو سعی میکنیم ارتقا بدیم و سهمی که غیر ایران در آسیا داره و قابلیت این رو داره که ما ما جزء ده ایران جزء ده کشور بزرگ تولید کنن غیر دنیاست و اونهایی هم که بیشتر قبل از ما رو دارن عموما خودشون وارد کننده مواد خام هستن مواد نفت خام هستن As the bitumen market ripens with urban developments and industrial expansion to make room for high demands, the same is true for the pharmaceutical sectors. Today, medicine is made with proteins derived from living cells cultured in the lab. This is called biopharmacology. You may have heard the names of some of these biopharmaceuticals such as hormones like insulin or growth hormones, blood factor vaccines for anemia stemming from hepatitis B and several other names to cure tough to treat illnesses. And Iran is a forerunner in biopharmaceuticals. Iran these days has managed to export its drugs to some 17 countries and given its biopharmaceutical know-how, it has succeeded in greatly alleviating its patients' pain. A prominent company in this field is Synergen. Let's now join Amir Mehdi Kazemi as he ventures off to Karaj in Alborz province to explore this field and explain more on the topic. Less than three decades ago, a big idea came to the minds of a group of Iranian biotechnologists. The aim was to help cure patients with chronic diseases in Iran and across the world. That was a turning point for the pharmaceutical industry of Iran. A few years later, the same group of scientists who were now joined by a considerable number of their colleagues decided to establish a center for the production of biopharmaceuticals, a company which today takes its steps on the edge of science. In the year 2000, Sinagen took the first steps towards producing recombinant proteins and monoclonal antibodies aimed at manufacturing biopharmaceuticals. Today, a diverse range of biomedicines are produced at this facility near Karach city, about 50 kilometers west of the capital Tehran. The novel idea of making such a company came about 25 years ago uh, with the novel idea of a group of uh, young scientists. Actually, we manufacture a huge basket of different products. These products are manufactured uh, through recombinant DNA technology. Uh, we are using state-of-the-art technology for both upstream and downstream processes and also quality control tests. And we are a key role player in technology transfer to neighboring countries. Treatment of incurable diseases such as multiple sclerosis and cancer as well as other maladies like osteoporosis, anemia and renal failure are no longer under the monopoly of pharmaceutical giants in the West. Sinogen is now responsible for the production of some of the world's most demanded medicines. The company also produces medications for rheumatoid arthritis and infertility. در واقع بعضی از داروها در انحصار یک سری از کشورهای خاص هستند. آتلینومب که با نام تجاری سینورا توسط شرکت سیناجن در حال تولید هست، با سیمیلار داروی هیومرا که توسط شرکت ادویه آمریکا از سال 2003 شروع به تولید شده. 
In 2016, this medicine was considered to have the biggest sales among all biopharmaceuticals in the world. Based on import limitations on the product for Iran as a result of U.S. sanctions, which prevented international payments even for medical purposes, and also the high cost of the product, scientists at Sinagen decided to formulate and produce a biosimilar of the medicine, which according to them is exactly the same as its reference product. بعد از شرکت ابی آمریکا ما دومین اسکیل بزرگ دنیا رو داریم برای این دارو این دارو برای بیماری های خود ایمنی مثل آرتیت روماتوید و سوریاسیس مورد استفاده قرار میگیره فرم اوتو اینجکتور به عنوان آخرین ابزار دارو رسان برای بیمارا برای تسهیل و تزریق دارو برای بیمارا در نظر گرفته شده Some 700 people work at this facility alone, but the group of Sinagen companies, which comprises eight companies, has created jobs for more than 3,000 potential experts and personnel. When dealing with lives, the quality of every single stage of the manufacturing process is closely monitored, based on strict international quality assurance protocols. In quality assurance department, we are assuring the uh, implementation and also monitoring of uh, quality systems based on the most genuine guidelines of uh, international references like European Medicine Agency, EMA and also uh, WHO. After years of thorough studies by Sinagen experts and through collaboration of the Fraunhofer Institute of Germany, in 2006 the company launched its first biosimilar Interferon Beta 1A under the brand name of Sinovex. The biosimilar of Avonex Interferon Beta 1A produced by Biogen IDEC in the United States. Soon the medicine was accredited by laboratories in Austria, Germany and across Europe in terms of safety and efficacy. Right now it's tripartite which is used for osteoporosis and uh, this pen is used for one month without any pain and any problem for the patient. The company leaders say that each line of biomedicine produced by Sinagen is considered as a national project. Some of the company's products include Reditox, the first anti-cancer antibody produced in the Middle East. Sinofact, the first bucerolin acetate produced in Iran, used for the treatment of prostate cancer in men and infertility in women. Pegagen, the first pegylated molecule used for the treatment of neutropenia after chemotherapy and cancer. Sinof, the first recombinant follicle stimulating hormone for the treatment of infertility. Sinopar, the first biosimilar recombinant human parathyroid hormone for the treatment of osteoporosis, and Sinopoetin, the first erythropoietin beta produced in the Middle East. To be honest with you, there are two different perspectives in this regard because uh, this is a huge business and a lot of money is going in and, and out in this business. It is a very uh, lucrative and profitable business. But we do believe that each dose that we are manufacturing here is called the dose of hope for every patient. Sinagen leaders say that they already have a good market in Russia, Turkey and Armenia, parts of Central Asia, North Africa and Latin America. However, they have plans to expand their markets towards Europe very soon. While a part of this world is keeping a close eye on the scientific developments of Iran, especially in the field of nuclear and nanotechnologies and the oil and gas industries, an indigenized Iranian biotechnology industry seems to be the new scientific attraction here. An attraction which, according to scientists here, follows ambitions that are beyond imagination. The company's future plans are producing new types of monoclonal antibodies for the more effective treatment of multiple sclerosis, different types of cancer, infertility and other incurable diseases. Amir Mehdi Kazemi for Bazaar.
Well, that concludes our programme for today. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Bazaar. If you would like to know more about this topic or if you want to hear about other topics, you can email us. Also, do visit our social media on Facebook and Instagram and leave us a comment or send us a message. We would love to hear from you. Until next time.